plain sight uh, on the issue of collusion, pretty compelling evidence. All of this is evidence of collusion, uh, and you either have to look the other way to say it isn't, or you have to have a different word for it, because it is a corrupt dealing uh, with a foreign adversary during a campaign. Oh, yeah, so a little deja vu. That was California Congressman Adam Schiff, then the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, pushing the debunked, made-up Russia collusion story, despite knowing, as chairman of the committee, that there was, in fact, no evidence to support such a thing, and saying so during President Trump's term in office. Schiff's role in promoting the widely discredited Steele dossier ended up costing him his seat on the House Intelligence Committee last year when he was ousted by former Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy. Now Schiff is looking for a promotion to the upper chamber of Congress as he is one of several candidates running for the Senate seat in California this upcoming Tuesday on Super Tuesday. It was formally held by the late Dianne Feinstein. Joining me right now is one of Schiff's opponents, California Republican Senate candidate and former Major League Baseball player, Steve Garvey, who, in the latest poll from UC Berkeley, is currently leading the field with the top two vote-getters advancing to the general election this November. Steve, it's wonderful to have you here on the program. Mm. Welcome. Thank you, Murray. It's great to be with you. So let's talk about your platform and whether or not you have a path to win. You are going up against Adam Schiff, you hope, in November. What's most important going into Super Tuesday for you? Well, Maria, I'm... I've had 50 years of currency here in California. You know, my, my days of playing for the Dodgers and Padres, September 1st of 69, uh, I got to Dodger Stadium, a bunch of young kids, uh, uh, minor leaguers came up, I put a uniform on for the first time, my dreams came true. And, uh, and that's really what California is all about. Over the last 50 years, people have come here with their dreams. Uh, they wanted to start families, great schools for their kids. Uh, they had their dreams, and you know what? A one-party state has suppressed them. It's taken the hardworking people of, of California uh, and it's put them into a malaise. And, uh, and I've walked the state the last seven months and uh, talked to the people, looked them in the eye, asked them about their life, their quality of life. Is it better now than it was three years ago? And moms had tears in their eyes. They said, Steve, we get up in the morning, we try to figure out how we're gonna get through the week. Dads are saying, you know, I go to the gas station and hardworking Californians are buying $10 worth of gas in that 10 gallons. Uh, young families, like, like mine, uh, they can't buy a house. They single greatest currency because mortgage rates are too high. So I'm yeah. running for the soul of California. And, and right now, President Biden and uh, Governor Gavin Newsom are trying to make it easier for the illegals to get a mortgage uh, with no interest. This was a story this past week about these new mortgages that are being offered to illegals. You went to the border, I know, uh, in California, in San Diego, and I know now this is being called the new hotbed because Governor Abbott has put razor wire in place in Texas. They're coming in through San Diego. What can you tell us? Maria, the true war is the war against America by illegal immigrants. Uh, I went to the border with uh, Congressman Darrell Eisen. We went down to the ocean, started there. Uh, this is where, this is a point where the immigrants swim around, they're given life vests, uh, they die frequently. Uh, and by the way, uh, Mexico dumps its sewage on the coastline, it comes to America in two or three miles or four miles have to be shut down. We need to deal with Mexico. Then we went to the top of the wall, top of Ote Mountain, very close to Hakumba, and we saw openings that weren't finished by uh, this administration. And we saw a village, and in that village was a big mansion in the middle. And uh, we asked the Border Patrol, what's that? They said, that's the, the terrorist cartel that are vetting these people before they come across, stealing their money, doing whatever to them, uh, inhumane things. Uh, our U.S. Border Patrol, God bless them, Berea and ICE are doing the best job they can, but they're having no support from the administration that really only wants power uh, and the ability to be deceitful to the American people. So uh, that border, those terrorist uh, cartels, are destructing America. We've got to go and secure the border and let's up uh, Chinese gangs that are, are bringing in drugs. Uh, and you heard this morning, human trafficking, all things that are unconscionable shouldn't happen. Let's get back to uh, Title 42. Let's deal with Mexico. Uh, let's start dealing with these immigrants who have come across and vet them again. Uh, this is America. Let's get back to law and order, a fight against crime uh, on the border, in our streets and, and around the world. All right, I want to take a short break and then come back and talk to you about the path to victory. Can you win in a state that is largely liberal of California? I'm talking with Senate candidate Steve Garvey, and we'll be right back in just a moment. Stay with us, Steve.
Welcome back. And I'm back with California Senate candidate Steve Garvey. Steve, you are running in a highly liberal state. Do you have a path for victory uh, come November? We do, uh, Maria. This is probably the single most difficult seat in America for uh, conservative power. Uh, we have a narrow path, but you know that path is, is, is built on common sense, compassion, consensus building. You know I've built championship teams. I unite people. Uh, but more importantly, I, I talk to moms and dads, grandmothers and grandfathers, about their future, their families, their children. I talk about this is a campaign for, for their soul. You know, I don't judge people. I listen to them from the inside out. And they're speaking loudly now about it's time for change. Uh, this fresh-faced young kid <laughs> who's got common sense, uh, who we know, who we trust, who we used to watch. 30,000 people went to work with me and watch me um, go out with passion every day. You know, I never took the field for Republicans or Democrats or, or independents. I took the field for all the fans. And now I'm running for all the people. And you say you run into people and they say thank you. They're glad that they have an alternative. And God bless you. You know, we get up on Sunday mornings, we listen to you, we go to church, we thank God for our lives, uh, living in California in this great country. And then uh, seven months ago, I decided I was better than this. I had a voice. I was going to stand up for the people, and now they're making their voices yeah. heard. Uh, so we're going to anything, go from here, Maria. Anything you, anything you want to say to Adam Schiff, your number one opponent right now? Well, yeah, uh, in the debate, I, I said uh, you were censored, one of the only three congressmen in history. And by the way, okay. sir, you lied to 300 million people, and you can't take that back. Right. Thank you so much, Steve Garvey. We'll be watching. That'll do it for us. I'll see you tomorrow.